what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it is currently monday i wanted to start off the vlog fresh during the week um i took a break from vlogging over the weekend wanted to get rid of this dang pimple that's been on my forehead for like three weeks luckily i think the last of it is gone um so now just like getting rid of like the little scar that it left behind which it's not a huge scar so i'm very happy about that but anyway i have to run to the dry cleaner right now i have like a little break in between some work meetings so i'm gonna run there it's just down the street so it'll be super quick but i want to bring a christian suit actually um he got this suit made for him for one of his friends weddings from indochino great brand to get suits from if you're wedding planning and such check out indochino i think christian might get something made for him there for our wedding maybe um but he has three suits from them and they're all such great quality um but i want him to wear this suit for one of our engagement shoot looks and there's just like a little spot on the pants and also i think on the suit like on the back or something like that on the suit jacket so want the dry cleaner to take care of that and then dropping off his white button downs and everything our engagement shoot isn't until the end of may so there's still time but i kind of just want everything to be taken care of because our may is going to be so so busy um so yeah but later today i want to unbox some packages that i got for engagement shoe outfits possible looks um we're gonna do two one's gonna be like classic white dress with his suit and then the other one's gonna be a little bit more casual i want to wear like a blue dress and i don't know what he's gonna wear yet we'll figure that out after i figure out which dress i'm gonna wear but got two dresses in so far and i'm gonna try those on for you guys and see if they work um but i want to show you the cutest pair of heels that i got i needed a new pair of white heels and i was looking on neiman marcus and there was this beautiful pair of white heels that were like on, close to 800 dollars. they're by the brand amina Maudi or amina mina maudi something like that but yeah they're like 780 dollars, and i was like that's a little steep to be paying for heels right now so i found lookalikes from Saks fifth avenue off Saks fifth avenue and they literally look identical to the amina maudi heels and these were 49.99 they were on sale they're originally like 79.99 um but yeah i got them on sale and i actually purchased two pairs of these because everybody in the reviews were saying that they run really big and honestly i could have gone a full size down like these fit me perfectly but i'm just a little nervous they're gonna like stretch out a little bit but i think they'll be fine um but i just love the heel specifically i'm a sucker for pointed toe heels but these ones just look so expensive and so like high-end and luxe so love these so i'll link these down below for you guys if you're looking for some fun white heels but i wear white heels like with a lot of outfits i feel like and especially spring and summer coming up i'll definitely get my use out of these Maybe one day I will get the Amina, like the actual um, designer brand. But for now, Saks Fifth Avenue works. And these are so, so cute. So I'll link these down below for you guys. But I got, a, these are a size five and a half. I also ordered the six, which is my normal size. But they were just way too big. So dropped those off and returned those over the weekend. But yeah, stayed with the five and a half could have gone down to a five probably but anyway let's go to the dry cleaner i wanted to show you guys the heels on actually obviously not going to wear these to the dry cleaner but i just think they're so so stunning and they just look so high-end and so cute i love pointed toe heels like i'm just a sucker for them any pointed toe heels i see i'm like oh love them and i just want to wear heels all the time um but yeah these are also really great like bridal heels they're very comfortable to walk in i wore these to a client meeting on friday and because like the heel part is thicker than a regular heel they just made it so like comfy to walk in um the one thing i need help on you guys if you have any tips how do i get rid of like the squeaking of my toenails like hitting the tops my coworker said maybe put band-aids on next time band-aids on my toes so we'll see if that works but let me know if you have any 
tips for me. All right, I just dropped off Christian suit and shirts at this place in Belmar called Rainbow Cleaners. The lady was super nice and the aesthetic in there was just very clean and I feel like I would go back there just because of that, but this is like the first time I'm dropping clothes off like of ours, like Christian and I's, um, to get dry clean. So I just feel like a real adult. I feel like dropping things off to get dry cleaned and also hemmed is such an adult move. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to eat lunch soon. I've been working over here. I have my like laptop set up and then also I'm using the desktop because some of the things I'm looking at on a computer screen, I'm like, I need to see it bigger. So it's nice having the desktop. Um, but I wanna open up my packages cause I wanna eat lunch. But before I eat lunch, I wanna try on these dresses. So these are both from Lulu's actually and I, ordered them on two different dates because i saw another dress like the day after and i was like oh that would be so cute so they came in two different packages but here is the first one looks like this all right here is dress number one i'm obsessed with this pattern i love the blue and white florals i've been seeing a lot of people do like bridesmaids dresses with like different people different dresses but like similar color palette and i saw a girl wearing this dress specifically and i found it on lulu's um what i love about the two dresses that i picked out are the ruffle details so this dress has like a flowy ruffle bottom and then here is the second dress which I'm actually so excited to try this one on. It really caught my eye with like, again, the ruffles. This one has ruffles like fully throughout. Um, and the pattern is really, really cute. Like if you go up close, if you go up really close, it has a floral embroidery and a like checkered pattern. The, um, the straps you have to tie yourself. So that's gonna be a little confusing but I think this is gonna look super cute on. So let's try both of these on. Okay, I moved the mirror so you guys can see better, but here is dress number one. I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like the front isn't really doing anything for my body. Like it's not hugging me to like make it look really nice. Um, I don't know. The side is really cute. And I love the ruffles and the print, but I don't know how I feel about this one. Let's try the next one on. Here is dress number two. It's cute and I think I like it better than the last dress. I like the shape that it has going on up top. The other one was like a little too straight. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's like giving me like the wow factor that i thought it was going to give me but i definitely like this one better than the first one that i tried on let me know in the comments if you guys like this option i do have one more blue dress coming in from shopo that i'm going to try on um a little bit more simple but yeah we'll see i'm going to start searching for dresses again because i'm not confident in these two picks that i picked out so far okay i'm glad i started this process early of finding outfits because like i said not obsessed like totally obsessed with either of these i'm definitely returning this one so sorry if you guys liked this option but i'm gonna hold on to the second one because i did like that one a lot more than this one she's going back to lulu's I'll link this one though if you guys want to get it for yourself. I have three other dresses coming. Two of them are white. One of them is another blue option. Gotta say that that was a little bit of a letdown, but it's okay. We'll find the one. I almost forgot my Stanley. Can't forget the Stanley. Paid a lot of money for the Stanley. Can't forget it. Um, but yeah, just got out of Pilates, so good. It's, I've been going three times a week now. I'm getting used to it. Like the hardest part is getting the turns down and like what they mean and doing the moves. Like there's catfish and like bear dance and wheelbarrow, something like that. 
So just figuring that out, but it's nice to have people around you to like look at. I kind of just follow what they're doing and also try to listen closely, but sometimes you're so focused in a move that you aren't paying attention to what she's saying. So it's nice to have people there um, who know what they're doing, but also one of the people that I go take a class with on Thursdays, the instructor, she really demonstrates it very well like she sometimes likes to get onto the actual machine but then other times if it's like a full class then she will just demonstrate right in front of you okay i'm gonna wait for this guy to go anyway i'm gonna go home my legs are like shaking like it's really nice to feel the shakes but it makes driving a little difficult when i'm like ready to go the studio is very close to where our apartment is so I can walk, I just have to leave earlier if I want to walk. Which it would be a really nice warm up to walk there, like it'll be a good distance to walk and then also walk home to like cool down. So, if it's nice out on Thursday, I'm going to walk. Yeah, but it's a gorgeous day. Okay, it is Sunday now. I'm so bad at vlogging throughout the week because nothing happens or nothing exciting happens during the week so i literally just didn't vlog anyway i am getting ready i just did my makeup but i wanted to show you guys what i've recently been doing to my hair ever since i got it cut i feel like i haven't been curling it as often and i kind of just been blow dry styling it but on the days that i don't have like i don't start from like wet hair i kind of just do the front section so I like blow dry my front section hairs and then I just roll them up into rollers and then I'll take like a texturizing spray. This one's Orbe. I also have you guys on my way texturizing hairspray. I also use that one too and I love that one a lot. But I basically just keep them in my hair while I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes longer if I want more um but yeah I just take them out and then spray texturizing spray and it kind of makes it look like I did my hair but I really did the bare minimum just by doing the front section but I just love doing this so much because it's so easy to do and like so effortless um sometimes I'll take like more of the other sections and put like other velcro rollers in but again this is like the bare minimum that i do i just do the four front pieces and it's just like a really easy way to make it look like you put a lot of effort into it <coughs> i just inhaled that <coughs> so yeah that's my little hack but it's really fun to like play around with it and like see the little like waves and stuff but yeah i love it Anyway, I wanted to show you two products that Merit sent over. This one is one of my favorite products from Merit. It's their Flush Balm Cheek Color. This is in the shade Cheeky. And Merit is literally one of my favorite makeup brands that I own. I've been using, honestly, I've been using their products since they first sent them to me. Um, back when they first launched, which is so awesome. I love seeing them come out with new products, but I'm constantly using like the highlighting stick, the blushes, of course, like this is my first cheeky one that I got and it's like down to the bare, the bottom. So I can finally start using the new one, which they upgraded their packaging. So they look so bougie with the gold which I love, so love that. The other favorite product that I love from Merit is the foundation brush. I love using this. It's like the only foundation brush that I use right now. Um, and I also love the, like, what is it? Complexion stick, like concealer stick. The Minimalist Perfection Perfecting Complexion Stick. It's like a foundation concealer all in one. It's also down to the nub. I have to restock on this one. I use the shade Buff, um, but it's such a good 
product and it looks so natural on your skin so i love that one and of course i love so many other merit products oh this one i just used volumizing pomade for your eyebrows but this is in the black brown shade i actually have been filling in my eyebrows with the anastasia brow wiz just very very lightly recently i've been liking the no nothing in my eyebrow look which is very shocking of me to say because i was the type of person to never leave the house without doing my eyebrows if i had any ounce of makeup on um but lately i've just been filling them not filling them in but just like brushing the natural um this through my eyebrows and like leaving but yeah i've been filling in my eyebrows very very lightly with the brow wiz and then going through my eyebrows so i am evolving my makeup look to being more like natural so yeah love merit they also sent over their new shade slick jelly tinted lip oil which i've had other colors in this they're somewhere in this makeup bag this makeup bag is slowly becoming way too small i'm gonna need a new one yeah they're somewhere in there but this is in the shade mapleton it's this really pretty color we're gonna put her on and it feels so nice mm. it could be a little glossier like i Put on the smallest now. That is so pretty. Oh my god. I love it and it feels so nice on your lips. This is going to be my go-to lip gloss now. And I, again, just love the packaging. It's so simple and sleek looking. Okay, now looking at my hair in the viewfinder, I'm like, my hair is not as like voluminous or wavy as it typically is when I do those rollers, but... I only did my makeup for like eight minutes. So like that's how long they were sitting in my hair. So if you sit with them longer, they'll turn out more voluminous and such, but you get the idea, you get the gist. But anyway, updates on those engagement shoe outfits. I ended up returning both of those Lulu's dresses. I returned the first one right away because I just knew it didn't look that great on my body. Um, the second one I kept until the Shopo order came in. So I, like I said in the beginning, I ordered one blue dress from Shopo and two white ones. The two white ones did not work out. So I returned those ones. And then luckily the blue dress I loved and I feel like it fits the vibe of the location that we're shooting at. And it just looked really good on me. So I kept that one and I actually placed another order from Selfie Leslie and I ordered three more dresses. So I'm crossing my fingers that one of them works out. So I'll show you guys when they get here. They get here, I think on Tuesday. Another wedding related topic. I confirmed my wedding dress appointments. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go the first weekend of June. I was able to schedule all of them for the first weekend of June. So we're going to three places, one on each day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm bringing my mom, my sister, and then my one aunt is gonna come to the Friday appointment. And then my other aunt is gonna come to the Saturday, Sunday appointment, I'm pretty sure. But I'm thinking I'll probably find my dress like within the first two places that I go to. That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but we'll see what actually happens. Um, I obviously have a style in mind of like what I want to go for, but at the same time, I'm going to keep my options super open and go in with an open mind because I've heard so many people tell me that they have found that they picked the dress that they didn't even think to think of or envision at all. So yeah, going in with an open mind, but I'm thinking right now I will actually do two dresses. One as like the main wedding dress for the ceremony, all of that. And then once like dancing, like true dancing on the dance floor actually happens, I'm probably gonna change into a fun reception dress. So at these appointments, I may try on like short dresses, um, like what is it? Little white dresses or whatever. 
um but who knows maybe the second dress will be again like a longer thing but not like a train or anything like that obviously i've never tried on wedding dresses so i'm very nervous to start trying them on and i hope i get that like crying feeling and like i walk out with the veil on and i'm like yeah this is the one i'm gonna hope for that feeling but sometimes people are like i didn't get that feeling um but i did find like the perfect dress for me but knowing me i'm such an emotional person i think i will cry anyway that is the updates on wedding dresses other than that i really haven't been doing much the past like month and a half sometimes i'll get in like weird spurts like the beginning of april i literally created our wedding website and really i'm not gonna publish that until like save the dates go out and stuff like that and like we figure out like the exact time we're gonna have the church ceremony and then i randomly put together a seating chart <laughs> like if every single person on our guest list said yes i put them like all into tables luckily my venue had floor plans and like um seating plans of like how certain like guest counts can look um obviously they literally let you customize how you want the whole thing to look and like different tables and all of that but i chose like one of their layouts i wish i could show you but i don't want to give too much away and i also don't want to have people's names out there on the internet so just imagine like all the tables and then like next to the tables on like the out the outer edges like table one and it lists all the names of everybody and so forth and so on so i did that randomly that literally took me five hours um but i'm kind of glad that i got that done because once people start saying like no i can like kind of cross them off and like take them out and like rearrange and stuff like that obviously like i'm gonna have to consult with my mom and christian's mom just make sure like it makes sense for everybody to sit in these certain places but i kind of like that i got that out of the way versus like later into planning and like stressing out about that which i'm really trying to like not get stressed out during wedding planning which ever since finding the venue like i feel like has the wedding planning process has been pretty smooth and stress-free but yeah other than finding the dress i feel like the next biggest thing is florist i have said many times like i'm pushing off reaching out to florist but also because like I started putting a deck together of my inspo for bridal bouquet, bridesmaids bouquets, centerpieces, like venue stuff, ceremony flowers, but I feel like I'm not gonna reach out and also solidify like all of that inspo until I find my dress, at least for like the bridal bouquet and like bridesmaids bouquets because I feel like, I don't know, the dress could kind of determine what kind of bouquet I'm feeling so not gonna reach out to flores or send that deck to flores until after i find the dress so yeah kind of all of the wedding planning stuff has like come to a halt besides like really focusing on the engagement shoot and then figuring out the wedding dress appointments but we did so much like the first two months of being engaged in wedding planning that we've just slowed down like completely because we had most of the big things like checked off, which felt really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that is kind of wedding stuff. Um, I'm sure I'll have like a more in-depth video coming soon, like once June hits, like once the one year out mark hits. But until then, stay tuned. But switching gears, I wanna show you guys some books that I recently picked up. No, I am not pregnant. Christian's cousin's wife is pregnant and she's having a baby shower next weekend. And instead of doing cards, um, she was like, just get a baby book and like sign it or something. Um, put a little sweet note in the book, but I thought that was so cute. His other cousin did that too. And I loved that idea. So, um, if you guys are going to baby showers or hosting baby showers or something like that, maybe think of that. It's such like a good idea because then you have a bunch of books to read with your baby every time you pick up the book you're like oh that came from taylor and christian anyway got that book super cute mommy and me and then i also picked up this book which it's called smart women finish rich by david bach something like that but i have been really getting into personal finance education so i've been listening to 
personal finance podcasts, stuff like that. Um, I have a list of some that I like, so maybe I'll put a list down in the description box below of some of my favorites. Um, but I started looking at books that I could start reading and this one popped up. So it intrigued me, it had good reviews. So I'm going to start reading this. I kind of want to get into like a good morning routine where I read a little bit of this in the morning and then I read like my fiction fun book at night like whenever I want to unwind and just like not be on my phone or watch tv or anything like that so my friend let me borrow her book called the hotel nantucket by ellen hildebrand so i've heard really good things about this author and also this book in general so i started it on friday night i just wanted a cozy night in to read only got to page 23 because christian and i um christian got home and we started watching a show we've been watching netflix um beef it's really good it's really good but i will say like the first episode kind of got me depressed and like felt sad so there were some episodes that actually did make me feel like sad and like agitated or irritated whatever um but it is a really good show so highly recommend i also just finished firefly lane the other day i like completely binged that i was waiting for it to come back for like a while so loved that show it's such like a good like heartwarming fun show um but yeah pr be prepared to shed some tears anyway i think i'm gonna end off with the vlog here we're not getting around to doing too much today i'm probably actually going to start this book or continue reading hotel nantucket honestly or both it's the worst crappy day out so reading a book inside sounds really fun um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.